that's a life that we both lived. And you packed up a one-year-old, put a COVID mask on top of the rain cameras, and I was literally in an airplane on my way home to fight for my marriage and my family. You're heartless. Ooh, child. Tyrese's ex-wife, Samantha, is having bias remorse from her divorce. But Tyrese said, you done picked your side, fat. Stay over there. Is y'all ready to talk about it? Let's joke. Come on, Blaze. It's a beat for me. Wow, 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 What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Voodoo Doll TV, back with a quick little joke or whatever the case may be. And girl, Tyrese is not playing, girl. He is not playing. So, look, uh, his ex-wife, Samantha, I guess they call her Sam. You know, the clear people, they like giving up long people names. You know what I'm saying? Little, you know, small names like Sam for Samantha. Like, I remember that on the story, Bewitched, on a show way back in the day. But that's not the hint of that. Look, so Sam had divorced Tyrese. You know, remember back when he was crying? Hold on, let me show you. I'm at $13,000 a month. What more do you want from me? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, now y'all remember that. Now, I know that was from the first baby mama. I think that was from the first baby mama who put him on child support. And then he couldn't see the baby or something like that. But nevertheless, it was the same situation, same type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Tyrese had then went on a tour. Do you hear me? Made some good music. That song, um, I Don't Think You Ever Love Me, girl, that is a banger. Do you hear me? If y'all ain't never heard that song, when things got rough, mm, mm, you chose to run. I don't think you ever love me. They need to put a B behind that. I might see if I could do it. But anyway, look, y'all. So Tyrese had came on the internet and told us that he was on his way home. And he didn't even know he was blindsided by the divorce. He said he didn't do nothing. All he knows is when he came home, he found that she had to move all the things out, covered the uh, ring camera with a mask, and had done left like a thief in the night. That's what Tyrese had said. And I said, oh, that's cold bloody. But then I was just like, that's what happens when you get with your little preferences or whatever. But neither here nor there. So now, since all of that has happened, they done been to court. She's trying to drain him dry like a weasel. Uh, and I'm thinking, okay, girl, you really is done. But turns out she wants a second try at it, girl. Let me let Sam tell y'all what Sam had to say. And then I'm going to get up and say what I got to say. We're going to see what Tyrese got to say because he was not playing. Let's get into it. What do you mean by that in particular? I was very, <clears throat> very hurt. I was very angry. And... I remember like when I made like the, the decision, I was like hysterically crying mm. on the phone with my attorney. That was not wow. the person I should have been on the phone with when like that's a whole nother conversation. But anyway, I was hysterically crying and I was not in any position to make that decision. I was extremely emotionally intoxicated. Mm. We can be intoxicated with our emotions because I would never tell, I, I, I work with women. I would never tell a woman to walk through that in the same frame of mind I was in when I did it. And what, when you say that, but what frame of mind was that? What, what do you mean by that in particular? I was very, <clears throat> very hurt. I was very angry and I remember like when I made like the, the decision, I was like hysterically crying mm. on the phone with my attorney. That was not wow. the person I should have been on the phone with when like that's a whole nother conversation. But anyway, I was hysterically crying and I was not in any position to make that decision. I was extremely emotionally intoxicated. Mm. 
we can be intoxicated with our emotions. And I'm one that I'm very much emotionally led. I feel very strongly. I'm just that kind of person, very passionate. But um, I would never tell somebody to make that decision when they're that emotional. But of course I was, and I wasn't talking to someone that genuinely would be for marriage, you know, or, or for reconciliation. And that's not, to, that's not no slight to my, you know. No, it's, it's, it's current, current it's friends. Not, yeah, it has nothing. There's no slight to that. It, not the friends, but I was on the phone with my attorney. Yeah. So it, it was something that was being said to me that hurt me at that time. And that, um, so at that time when I was on the phone and I made that decision, I was, I was, I was, I was livid strong. Um, the, the, the truth about the matter is that if I had different people in my ear at that time, I would not have made that decision. No, wow. I wouldn't. And that's the truth. I, um, I try my very best at this point in my life to be what I didn't have in that moment. Um, because I think that I was, women were like, I'm an extremely emotional person. People that know me know that about me. I'm the kind of person that like, okay, I feel so strong and I can ruminate. I can get so lost in my thoughts. I know a lot of women are like that. Like we're a lot, not all of us, right? But some of us are just like a lot of men can be like that. But I know women specifically, the there will be moments where they'll be like, I'm ready to, I'm ready to be done. I'm ready to be done. I'm ready to be done. I can't stand this. He don't do this. He don't do that. Blah, blah, blah. Um, and then when you get lawyers involved and our, you know, there was a therapist that was speaking to both me and him, a marital therapist at the time that when I told him my decision, he was like, um, you know, when you get lawyers involved, it gets ugly. Mm. He told me that. And you know, I didn't even realize, I don't think I even realized how ugly it would get, you know? And uh, like I said, I could, if I could walk back in time, you know, sometimes I battle with myself about that. But at that time, I thought I was doing the right thing or the best thing, you know? I didn't know, I didn't know how ugly it could get. And I know a lot of women, we make that decision and we're so hurt and angry. And then five, six months later, you're not that angry anymore. Like, oh, this kind of like still care about him. I kind of still have these feelings for him now. Are you now in the spirit of potentially even being able to rekindle a relationship? Like, like rekindle that relationship? Is is your spirit in that place or is could it ever go back to that place? It's loaded because of the fact that there's been so much that's happened, you know? Like there's been so much that's occurred. Um, okay. It's my daughter's father. So I would, I would say this, I would say that if we were both going to show up and we were both going to fight for it equally and sacrifice equally, like, you know, things that I needed and, you know, things that, you know, he needed. I wasn't perfect. Yeah. Um, your girl ain't perfect. Um, so I, I would, I would say that if, if, if we were both willing to fight and we were both willing to do certain things and yes. Child, this was the most cap, cap, kibbity cap I've heard in a long time. First of all, girl, why is your marriage something that really puts a, something that's really deep and important to your life? Why is that hinging upon other people's opinions? Girl, I call cap. I feel like you're getting buyer's remorse because it ain't working out quite the way you thought it was going to work out. Now, she said she was on the phone with a lawyer when she decided that she was going to hit on it, end it all over. Now, she said she was drunk off her emotions and she was crying and she said she would never tell another woman to do what she did off their emotions. Well, girl, why is you now just now seeing the light? Who told you to divorce that dude? First of all, you did say your lawyer told you. Of course, he trying to get the bag, bitch. Are you dumb? Well, you must be. I'm sorry. Because you now you sitting up here saying it wasn't that deep. 
girl bye 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 then she said um you know a lot of women are emotionally led and i ain't gonna lie i gotta give her that a lot of women are emotionally led but i will say this i know as women we make decisions off of emotions that's just how we are we are very emotion based but when it comes to something like a marriage i'm talking about something that is an ironclad like contract and you got to go through hoops and, and hurdles to get out of it nobody could convince me to stay or leave my marriage that's just me now emotions have me separate from your ass but leave hold on let me see how this gonna go you know what i'm saying let me make sure i'm really through with this nigga you know what i'm saying and then the people in your ear you said that wasn't for marriage well why would you be listening to them if that ain't really what you wanted to do sam sam what the hell going on, Sam? This is not adding up. I don't know what's going on. But she said, um, at the end of the day, they both had a therapist, and the therapist warned her. He said, hey, girl, um, you might not want to do this. When you get lawyers involved, it's going to get ugly. And she didn't listen and ended up doing it anyway. Now you regret it saying over there, oh, yeah, if Tyrese cries took you back, then you'll go see what's going on. Girl, bye. Girl, bye, girl, bye, girl, bye, girl, bye, girl, bye. Anyway. Let's see what Tyrese had to say, because he was not here for it. Let's get into it. You packed up a one-year-old, put a COVID mask on top of the rain cameras, and I was literally in an airplane on my way home to fight for my marriage and my family. You're heartless. None of your friends recognize you. This is all about money. If you had friends in your ear, you're lying, you're gaslighting, you're playing. The only person that was in your ear was your mama. Her name is Patricia Randolph. You didn't have people in your ear. The amount of people that was supposedly in your ear, you also had a whole lot of people like Aventer Gray, Taffy Dollar, Creflo Dollar's wife, who married us. You had a whole lot of people in your ear telling you that you're about to do something stupid, impulsive, and y'all are actually not going through anything that would make you want to leave your husband. So if you had people in your ear at the time, they must be still in your ear because you're still trying to get $20,000 a month for a five-year-old. You make $160,000 a year on your own. This is all a game. You're clout chasing. You're something that I don't even know. A simple woman, not into materialistic things, don't want, don't care about fame and mansions and popularity. You're everything that you told me and all of your friends and loved ones that you wasn't. If you wanted to be famous, boo boo, that's all you had to say. You already tried to ask me to come back. You already tried to reconcile. I told you I was in a relationship with Zelly and I was not willing to go and break this off or cut this woman off because you decided to wake up on a Wednesday and come back and play in the sandbox. Everything about the way you left me was heartless. It was evil. You never considered me your marriage, and let alone your innocent one-year-old child. She had to celebrate her second birthday apart. And if you really are really suddenly caring about the effects that you've had on me and your family, why don't you sit these fucking lawyers off of me? Call your lawyers right now and tell them that everything that you're still trying to get right now, you don't want it no more. $20,000 a month for a child? Our prenup says no alimony. Our prenup said everything that the prenup said. You're trying to crack the prenup. And it's been three years of it. I should have never hired a fucking attorney. I had a prenup. Everything that I was supposed to give you in the prenup, I gave it to you. You want more. And it's been three years. I've moved on. I'm with Zelly. You moved on. I don't even want to tell the first you started dating when we broke up because you're going to go viral from that if i were to tell who you started dating as soon as we broke up you would go viral from that all you want is attention 
you want Facebook followers, you want Instagram followers, you're trying to be a life coach, and you're trying to get to drink the Kool-Aid, fucking with a real one right here. Everybody can see through your Ooh, child, Tyrese ain't playing with her. Tyrese called her out on every single point she made. Like he said, if you had people in your ear, you must have the same people in there because the other people, like Creflo Dollar Wife, which I don't trust y'all know I don't trust no pastors, and I damn sure don't trust their wives. You know what I'm saying? But if she was in your ear and all them other people was in your ear saying, y'all, don't get, don't get a divorce, don't get a divorce, your therapist, all of them people, and you ain't listen to them, now you want to come back and say, oh, now I, I changed my mind, girl, bye. Tyrese said, you been trying to come back to him. And he said, no, baby, he has moved on and so has you. But my thing is, Tyrese, who's she smashing? I think that needs to be known to the public. Who was she smashing when she left you? Was it DJ Envy? You know, they said, I didn't say it, but they said he liked the backslide and glide a little bit every now and again. That's what they said. I don't know. I didn't say it. I don't be there. You know what I'm saying? I don't live where y'all be at. You know, I'm not in Hollywood. But look, what is going on? Samantha, first of all, shout out to Tyrese. You know why I'm going to say that, Tyrese? Because even though I believe whatever you get from this, you deserve. Because I feel like your intentions going into this was kind of pure, but kind of not. I don't know. But ultimately, Tyrese, let me just say this. Because, see, it's a lot of niggas like you. When y'all get money, y'all forget. You know what I'm saying? So let me remind you really quick. There's a lot of women who go after black men with money and clout and status because they are there to receive said money, clout, and status. Now, I get it, Tyrese. You were the Hollywood heartthrob. I remember the Coca-Cola commercial when you was hollering. Do, 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 I was there. I remember you was on the back of the bus. You was a little funny looking, but I remember. You know what I'm saying? Tyrese, you married this woman thinking that it was genuinely pure and genuine love when she is there for the bag. Now, I don't know who Samantha uh, Mama is, I'm sorry, but it's giving... Uh, maybe 2% to whole milk. I'm not sure. So I'm trying to figure out if her mammy is a uh, whole milk. Because if she is, then it makes sense. Them people doing what they supposed to do according to the plan. Y'all black men get this money and go running over there giving these people y'all money. Then start the crime when things don't go your way. I just don't understand. So Tyrese, at the end of the day, you cannot sit up here and put all the blame on this woman. Because ultimately, you made the decision to procreate and marry her. You know, all for what I don't know. And I think maybe you did love her going into that. And that's probably why you crying and acting a fool. But let this be a lesson to you, Cry Reese. Moving forward, find someone, which is probably hard because I know you in the um industry and all of that. But you need to find someone who's genuine for you. Even a girl you're with ain't genuine. I ain't gonna lie. Whoever the, I forget the girl name, the girl you with ain't even genuine for you, fat. I'm saying, I got to say what I got to say. The girl already said she'd rather be with Paul Walker than you, girl. But li listen, you can't, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him take a bath. You feel what I'm saying? Girl, this don't make no sense. Anyway, let's go see what the TikTok people had to say. Now, I found this one girl who had a really good TikTok video. Uh, I'm going to let her play, and then I'm going to come back for final commentary because this is a lot. Let's go see. Ooh, y'all heard about this? The ladies are still talking. Brittany, Jada, and now Tyrese's ex-wife? Now, I feel like this was old news about Tyrese getting divorced. He's been divorced for a while. She filed for divorce against him. But now she's doing interviews talking about, just kidding, JK. Ooh. And if you're wondering why do we care, honestly, before I did it, but there was three things that made me go, Okay, the three things are why she filed for divorce, his new relationship, and the child support. Ooh, child, the child support. So anyways, she's doing interviews now saying, um, I regret divorcing him. Not, those aren't her exact words, but her words were, if I had different people in my ear at the time, I wouldn't have done what I did, AKA get divorced. Now, wait a minute. Are you a grown woman blaming other people for a decision you made? You mad? It sounds like she blaming all her friends for her divorce. Anyway, she goes on in these interviews. I don't know if this is one interview or multiple interviews she has. Basically saying, I'm an emotional person. I was in my emotions. You were in your emotions? And people asking why you filed for divorce. Remember when Tyrese was just crying on the internet? Was it, wasn't that because of her? 
They made memes of this man crying about what she did to him. Because he said he was blindsided. He did not see the divorce coming. Can you imagine just arguing with your spouse and they're like, I'm going to get a divorce. And it's like, ha ha. And they really did it. Like that. Oh, my pickle. And he's doing interviews. Look at him. He looks so sad. Talk about her. You're talking about I'm in a relationship now. Because they're like, don't listen to her, Tyrese. She wants you back. Don't take her back. And he's like, doesn't he have that song called Taking You Back? Anyways. Anyways, everybody's talking about Tyrese. Don't take her back now that she says she wants you. A lot of people are saying she's realizing she's not going to have the same amount of money and lifestyle she had when she was married. So now she's backtracking. That's what the people are saying. Which, you know, might mean point number two. She wants $20,000 a month. $20,000 a month! And child support. And you might be like, oh my gosh, she must have a teenager. You know, the styles the kids wear these days. Their child is one years old. The child is barely goo goo guying. Okay, not even in the terrible twos yet. Not even the terrible twos. They can't even really break nothing. So Tyree says in this interview that when he met his ex-wife, she claimed that she was very simple. She was, you know, $12 sundress type of girl. And she didn't care about his fame. And she signed the prenup because she said, boo, all this money you made before me, this is your money. But now he's like, but now she wants $20,000 a month. $20,000 a month? To survive, right? This is just to survive. <laughs> so now his ex-wife is calling the new girlfriend a Jezebel. A Jezebel. And Tyrese is like, how are you going to call her a Jezebel when you left me? Ooh. Oh, poor Tyrese. I miss Tyrese back when like him and Usher were like, mano a mano, frenity. You know, in that music video. Anyways, I'm going to tell my age just by knowing what music video. If you know the music video, we probably the same age. Anyways, look at him in both these photos. Poor Tyrese looks so miserable. And the last point was this. I don't know how old this clip is, but I just saw it and it was so embarrassing. I got the ick, I got embarrassed, I turned away, but then I kept listening. Basically, they are both saying his girlfriend and him were like, oh, we weren't each other's type. She said, yeah, because I had a big crush on Paul Walker. His best friend? That's not with us anymore? She's like, yeah, he was my type. And he was like... You're going to say this on the internet? And you can see her still trying to like touch him. He is so irritated. Like in what world is it ever okay for the person you're dating saying, hey, I preferred your friend that is now not alive, your best friend of life. When is that ever okay? Never. It's never okay. It's never okay. And she's like, haha, kikiing. And he was like, don't touch me. Oh, poor Tyrese. I don't think the current relationship he's in is going to last, but he's matured a lot. If you see his interviews, he has his mind right, get himself together. If he does take his ex-wife back, it's because he never stopped loving her. And if he does get back with her, he's probably going to do it in private because it's kind of embarrassing. What do you think is easier to forgive? Someone who cheated on you or someone who chose to divorce you? Which one would you take back? Neither? I mean, have you looked at the dating pool these days? It's not pretty. It's not pretty. It's not pretty at all. So now you heard the girl. I think her name is Hanging With Haley on TikTok. She actually did a good breakdown of this whole thing. Let me just say this, Tyrese. Um, I know you're with the new girl who really would rather be with your little partner who's six feet deep. I get it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, That's not long term with who you got over there. However, it does not mean you should take back this Jezebel who decided to leave you like a thief in the night. Don't do it, Tyrese. Normally, I would say, you know, for marriages, go get your your wife back. Go get your old lady back or whatever. It's rough out here. They got pee in the dating pool. Normally, that's what I would say. But in this case, you can't trust the bitch. She might be like an uh, armed robber. You know, they normally come and go in the middle of the night. You don't know until you wake up you've been robbed. Don't do it, Tyrese. Tyrese, don't do it. Find you somebody who actually give a damn about you. And don't do this. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about this girl because this was just too much. When I seen this, I say, oh, cry. Cry. Don't let her do this to you. Don't let her Don't let her bring you down to the ground like that. Plus, the people going to be dragging you down to the ground if you take her back. Fat. Don't do it. She might not win in court. That's probably why she's having uh, bias, remorse, and second thoughts because it might not look the way she thought it was going to look. 
You know, when she first filed the court papers, Tyrese, don't you do it. Go get uh, partial custody or, or, or what you call it, half custody, whatever, nigga. Go get whatever to cut your child support down to the ground because they got a writer strike. Y'all ain't working anyway, girl, bye. Anyway, y'all y'all, let me know what y'all think about this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on all my platforms. Oh, yeah, I am on Twitch. Hit me up over there. What's up? And i see y'all who's later. Bye. Mr. Carroll. How you give the voodoo dog time to talk? I don't get no fucking time to talk. Who the voodoo dog is? The nigga you just had up here.